Hi, this is Helen Yancey, and I want to show you a few little things about Painter 12, Corel Painter 12, that might be fun for you to try. I have a picture here called Yellow Rose. That's my original of a photograph of a rose in my backyard. And I have Corel Painter 12 open. And what's different about um, this particular workspace, which is called What's New in Corel Painter 12, that is this workspace, What's New, that's the one you want for this particular um, effort. And I have selected uh, Captured Bristle in the acrylics category. You see it's laid out a little bit different than it was before. And Captured Bristle in the acrylics category is the one I have chosen. My toolbox now is long and skinny down the left hand side. And I can make it double like I did before, um, but right now for real estate of my desktop, I'm going to leave it where it is. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to File, Clone. And the reason I use File, Clone rather than Quick Clone is because I'm going to use the whole image, but I want to be able to see both images rather than have it underneath the tracing paper. So I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. And I want to be able to see the original so that I can see what I'm doing as well. So I'll move these palettes over and let's just show you how easy it is to make something look like a painting. I'm going to choose, as I said, Captured Bristle. And for right now, I am going to click on this little icon here which is going to put the image or the brush into clone color. That means whatever I paint is going to be with the color of the original. And I want my brush to be a little bit bigger, so I hold down my Option Command keys together or my Alt uh, Control keys, and I can do this to make my brush any size I want. I love that. I think that's amazing. Um, and with Captured Bristle then, using the color that is in the original image, I can paint the background or paint the flower or do whatever I want because that'll move the pixels around. And I'm not gonna dwell a long time on the background, but let's move on the flower itself and see how easily and how nicely we can turn this into a painting. I'm following along with the rose but I can see up here what I want to what I want to reproduce. I want to I want to be able to see that image. I want to, um, which I can't do as easily with the tracing paper. Now there are times when the tracing paper is wonderful because then you only pick up that part of the image that you want. But um, you, can you see what's happening? I hope you can with just these brush strokes very quickly. And I'm pushing out where it's where it becomes dark. I'm pushing out with my brush, but I know I can't get in too much trouble because it's going to use the color that is in the original image. And with just a few strokes, I can make a painting very quickly, very easily. I want to keep the bud because that's pretty. It's part of the rose. I'm going to make my brush smaller now. See? Make it smaller so that I can do these edges and keep those edges of those of those petals um, as much or as little as I desire to keep them. I can go over the whole thing with a big brush if I want to and um, make it very, very photographic again. But for this, that would defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? So I'm going to just quickly paint until I have a pretty little painting of a rose. Let's go over the bud a little bit and make brush strokes. Nice and easy. Keep those edges soft and painterly. I made my brush bigger again. You saw that. Make that petal come out. Make this one go over that brush. Look already what we have. What we have is really pretty. Do I need the hairs on the edge of that stem? Of course not. Would they be there in a real painting? Of course not. So very quickly, very easily, with just one brush and using clone color, 
so that I, you know, if I want to get creative with color, then I don't use clone color. But right now, I want to pick up the color that's already there. And I might decide to keep that leaf, and I might not. Let's see. What, what, what will I decide? I might decide to cut that off, too. Okay, let's look at it big. And look at that. In just a few minutes, we have created a painting from a photograph. Just one brush. We used one brush and we used the clone tool, the clone um, option, and we have a painting. I hope you'll try it. I hope you'll enjoy it. And if you'd like to learn all about Corel Painter, come to one of my classes. There's going to be a class in the fall in Maryland, and there will be lots of other classes. It's Helen at HelenYanceyStudio.com. Thanks, guys.